Aloha, this is Yang. Mm -hmm. I'm Yang. <laughs> Today I'm going to share my one year of experience on like mini vlogging camera, action camera, so that you can find the perfect camera for 2020. Yeah, that sounds really great because for my next trip, whenever that is, I want to take it in a very special way. You know, there was like special moments. Yeah, precisely. You know, I didn't know that trips were so special until this year. It is precious. Then you want to stay watching this video because I'll show you guys some of the best options out there for action mini vlogging camera. And if you like my Aloha dance, then please hit the like button and let's go and investigate. So did you enjoy that shadow clone effect from Insta360 One R camera? So One R camera is the first camera of the four cameras that I want to talk about today. So the clear advantage is that One R camera is a 360 degree camera as well as the flat 4K ultra wide angle lens in one package. And what's so special about the 360 degree camera? Well, you can do something like this. So you can definitely make a really fun video that can make yourself as well as other people go wow it's cute it's amazing and the great thing about insta360 product is that the app function is pretty amazing it's definitely one of the best apps out there when it comes to quick editing to make those special effects because they have the templates where you can quickly apply and the app has a huge global community where you can actually learn from other people all around the world all these little tricks that you haven't seen before so if you work one hour camera with your mobile phone and insta360 one hour app that it's a perfect combination to edit something quick and post it up on like instagram facebook etc However, I must say, if you want to edit like a long travel video, the workflow may be a little bit challenging as well. But with mobile phone, it's perfect. And I'm hearing that they have a good promotion starting from this week, giving you the free invisible stick. And if you want to trade up, then also they give you some really good promotion, which I'll have the link down below for more information. Okay, so now I'm going to change the 360 degree camera into 4K. It's all in small modules and you can actually change the module as you wish a screen at the back or screen at the front but now I'm gonna go for selfie mode on 4k lens and 360 degree camera because lens is on both sides so I'm gonna use the rubber cap that came in the box so now I'm on 4k lens and since it is very suitable for sports I'm gonna put the helmet on and ride bicycle okay so now I'm riding bicycle like connection camera as it should now I'll move on to talking about the second camera in the best action camera category and of course it is GoPro but I am holding GoPro 7 because I didn't upgrade to GoPro 8 which does definitely have better stabilization and I'm only using GoPro 7 I didn't upgrade to GoPro 8 but GoPro is just so strong and so simple to use I think the button is much faster to react. It is super strong. I dropped it many, many times. I dropped it even from a horse and it survived totally fine. And I must say, I did prefer the GoPro color compared to Osmo Action. So, so I actually sold off Osmo Action and kept GoPro 7. And it also does have time lapse, time warp, night time lapse as well. But I think the only downside of GoPro is that it sometimes freezes. But maybe because my card, my SD card wasn't fast enough. I'm not sure, but with GoPro 8, you might need to look into other community as well. It's a really dusty day, so I'm just cleaning my Insta360 One R as well as GoPro 7. But now let's talk about something a bit more delicate. So as the pioneer of the 3X's gimbal market, it is also a pocket. The camera quality is great. It is solid DJI quality. Although again, some more saturated color camera, 
it does look a bit sort of fair, but if you only use the footage all within Osmo Pocket, the color is brilliant. I traveled to so many different places with Osmo Pocket. As you can see, I had a really great time. My personal favorite feature of 3X's gimbal is the ability to do the motion time lapse because the camera is separated from the body via gimbal. Isn't that just wonderful? And the mic adapter from DJI, which is rather expensive, but it does retain really good quality mic sound. So, let me switch over. So, okay, now I'm inside DJI Osmo Pocket and mic is attached via DJI Osmo Pocket mic adapter. So I think even though the original sound is very soft, but if you amplify it, you get to really pick up your voice very, very well. And because Osmo Pocket has been such a popular device, all I need to do is stick on the free well wide angle lens. lens. Then you get a slightly wider view and my face is probably not too overwhelming to you guys. Then all I'm doing is basically I'm holding it with my arm and no selfie stick required, no big chunky selfie stick. But now because Ozo Pocket is the first of its generation, it has a copycat. <laughs> Femi Palm. Femi Palm is perhaps my favorite among the copycats and I even have Ozo Pocket string attached to the body. And the best thing about Femi Palm is that it is the cheapest amongst all these 3X's gimbal camera as well as all the cameras that I have shown you today. And it has all the features that I really like about Ozo Pocket. Minus the close-up bokeh effect from Ozone Pocket because it is wide angle at 128 degree field of view and it has universal adapter hole at a weird place but it somehow still works especially if the camera is facing this way and you can attach the lanyard and flat bottom rubbery bottoms it stands stably on the stick and you can enjoy the time lapse etc the low light capability of this one compared to Ozone Pocket and even Snopper Vime is a bit you know a bit on the low side so the only huge downside that i can see of Femi palm is that i haven't yet actually found the working mic adapter however i haven't even carefully looked for it either so if you look through aliexpress carefully maybe you will find something that actually works with Femi palm so i hope i haven't actually confused you about you know which camera to get rather you could see what's good about these cameras and what's something that you have to know in advance before purchasing these cameras at the end of the day all these cameras come with a lot of technology a lot of fun features so whatever you decide amongst these or even others i'm sure you can make amazing videos out of it so I'll come back with some other reviews very soon. So please don't forget to subscribe and like the video and see you.